2x minus 7 squared equals 8. I'm not really thinking so much about solve by factoring this one because to solve by factoring I would need to have it need to have it in standard form. This 8 would need to be over onto the left side. Additionally, this 8 wouldn't have to be combined with something. I would have to foil this out, bring the 8 over, and I might not even have something I could factor. So it's really not set up so well for me to try solve by factoring. It is set up well for square root property that on the left side I have a squared section totally isolated. No other terms outside of this set of parentheses that's, that has the exponent of 2. So that's what tells me go for square root property. Square root both sides. Check that positive or negative. Square root of 8. So not a perfect square. I didn't right away turn it into anything. I'm just leaving it as radical 8. Of course we will want to simplify that radical 8. Let's work the left side. The square root and the square cancel. 2x minus 7 equals positive or negative radical 8. Let's simplify that radical. So that radical 8 is a 2 times 2 times 2. Let's take out two twos, And we have 1, 2 left inside the radical. So we're looking at 2x minus 7 equals positive or negative just simplified that radical so far. Positive or negative 2 radical 2. Now we definitely cannot just stop right now. This is an equation we're trying to solve. We're trying to isolate that x. What does x equal? 2x minus 7, great, but I'd really like to know what x equals. So we've got to keep going. If I've got to keep going with this symbol, mm -mm, time to split this up into two equations. 2x minus 7 equals the positive 2 radical 2. 2x minus 7 equals negative 2 radical 2. Two different equations to solve. They are still linear because we have an x with just an, an exponent of 1. You know, we don't see it. That means exponent of 1. We do have radicals in there, but they're just numbers. They're irrational numbers. It, all it's going to do is make it a little bit trickier when we s try to combine like terms or decide not to combine like terms, I should say. I'm focusing on the left side because that's where the variable is. That's where the x is. And I want to get that x by itself. That's how I solve these linear equations. So I'm not focusing really on this 2 radical 2. It's there, but I'm focusing on the left side in terms of what am I choosing to do. So it's add 7 to get rid of the minus 7. 2x equals. Mmm, cautious here. Think about adding radicals. Adding radicals is a combined like terms idea. If we want to add terms, they need to have the same radical part. I've got one term with a radical 2. The other one has no radical part. It's just a positive 7. They are not like terms. They really cannot be combined. I have to keep them separate. 2 radical 2 plus 7. And I'm not done yet. I'm still looking at a 2x, so I need to divide by 2. You can do that, divide everything by 2. It's pretty similar to something we did recently. x equals, hmm, what do we do here? Well, these numbers are both outsiders, and I don't have separate terms on top, no adds or subtract, so those can get canceled. And I have radical 2, 7 over 2. Oh, boy. That's it. That honestly, is our solution. Wild. Okay, uh, so what did we do? We had our squared section isolated, so we could do square root both sides. Could be positive, could be negative. And we continued solving for x. Once we got here, we split it up into two equations, and it left us with some terms we couldn't combine, but that's our answer. We're adjusted, we're, we understand we can have radicals show up in these solutions and that they're absolutely correct. There are some things I want to talk about as I work through this equation here. Still need to add 7 to both sides. I'm cautious about combining like terms, so I even just put it off to the side, like that's where it's going to end up when I bring it down. 2x equals negative 2 radical 2 plus 7. And here where we do divide by 2... I just put that entire side over 2. Those 2's cancel. We have x equals 
negative 2 radical 2 plus 7 over 2. And we often see our answers written this way. Now these, we're going to show how we can make these answers look look very much the same. They don't look, they look a little similar. We can show, we can make them really look similar to show that that we don't really have very different kinds of answers. But with a different method, we often end up with solutions that look sort of like this, where there, it's just one fraction. We have our two terms in the numerator with one term in the denominator. So it could be written that way. Let's go ahead and, and do some movement to show how it's pretty similar to this one. Two terms in the numerator with just one term in the denominator, that is a situation where we can split that the two terms in the numerator up into two separate fractions with that two in the denominator of each one. And now it's starting to look like right here. And yeah, it's, it's really tracing back to the different move we did here. One side we said divide everything by two. The other side we said, oh, divide everything by two means you can do it to the, each individual term. And so that's why this line looks close to this line. We have a difference because of our one is positive, one's negative. And I see twos can cancel, and that would leave, would leave me with negative radical two plus that seven over two. So we're seeing that these really are not super different answers. Our only difference was do we divide each by two, or do we divide the whole thing by two? Okay, two different answers. One last thing that I want to show you about the ending of this problem. Going back to, way back to the top, once we did square root of both sides and simplified that radical, where we have 2x minus 7 equals positive or negative 2 radical 2. Okay. At this point, we, before, split it up into two equations. And I still like doing that because it keeps me on track. I feel very comfortable doing that. But this sort of equation, the way it looks right now, is one, one type where we can keep solving and we're not going to go off path because of that add or subtract. And we can sort of see why. If I go to add 7 to both sides, I'm not adding it right in there, so I'm not not getting away from this positive or negative 2 radical 2. I still see it right there, just moving my plus 7 to the other side. 2x equals positive or negative 2 radical 2 plus 7. And then when I do divide by 2, I have the x isolated. Get my thumb out of there. You'll sometimes see answers that look like that, where we just held on to our plus or minus symbol because we didn't end up really changing that positive or negative 2 radical, two radical 2. I still see it in the answer. I see there's that plus 7 and the divide by 2. I haven't gone in and done anything to go off path with that part that has the positive or negative symbol there. And one last thing, I'm really squeezing all these ideas in. just rearrange the two terms in the numerator because when we get to using the quadratic formula we're going to see answers show up looking a lot like this just because of how the formula is set up so I want you to just get a glimpse of how this solution looks we got it from doing square root property and we had a radical that we couldn't simplify all the way down that's where this radical 2 came in and just sort of things started piling up because it, we couldn't combine like terms to it so that's how it looks using the add or subtract symbol and it's equivalent to these two expressions there's the one with using the positive there's the one with using the negative we even had a little diversity about how they look so lots of ideas at work here but I want to show you these things that we'll see in the other methods also